Wario has gone missing. Where is the man with the very messy mustache? We want him back, and we want him back WarioWare style. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here, and as we continue to comb through the titles and the franchises we want to return to glory on Nintendo Switch, WarioWare is one that stands out to us with big, bold body, just like Wario himself. And ironically, the series has been absent for a while. They evolved it to a strange point on Wii U uh, that wasn't very good. But at its core, WarioWare was brilliant, and I think it would be an amazing fit for Switch. So we're going to go through the games that were, talk about the ones we loved, and then kind of hypothesize on if and how WarioWare could come to Switch. All right, Zach, so I'll start us off here by talking about WarioWare's history, the original WarioWare Inc., Mega Micro Games came out in May of 2003. After that, in 2004, we had WarioWare Inc. Uh, Mega Party Games. WarioWare Touch came in 2005. Same with WarioWare Twisted, also 2005. WarioWare Smooth Moves, which is the last one I played, that came in 2007 to the Wii. Uh, WarioWare Snapped came to DSi on. 2009 WarioWare DIY, which is another one I remember that came to DS Systems in 2010. Same with DIY Showcase on WiiWare and the latest that you mentioned. And the Wii U version game and Wario. Zach, that's your favorite. Except I'm kind of lying because it's not your favorite. You thought it went a weird direction. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was known to be a, a spiritual successor. Um, and it took advantage of the, the gamepad. I love the Wii U. This was not a very great game. Um, there were 12 single-player Mini games and four multiplayer ones. None of them were that great. I actually remember uh, standing next to Jeff Gersman from Giant Bomb, and we were checking out this this mini game where you're in like a little town, and you have to try and find the person who's hiding, something of that sort. And Jeff was just not impressed at all. He was so disgusted. It was kind of a <laughs> kind of a, a fun moment um, back when I, I first uh, ran into Giant Bomb. But yes, it's been 40 years since WarioWare, and really far longer if you consider the fact that it hasn't released in its true form. Um, for quite a while, uh, you could say that it hasn't been that way since uh, Smooth Moves in 2007, which would be over a decade. Because Snapped, DIY, uh, DIY Showcase, these are not, you know, necessarily WarioWare as as we'd like it. Um, for me, the 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 cream of this crop is the initial WarioWare. Uh, on Game Boy Advance. That game was amazing. I remember being a small child uh, when I would tag along with my mom to Target because I could go and demo games. And I would always go back to the WarioWare demo station. It was the full game, uh, and it was so freaking fun. And I would just sit there the whole shopping trip. And those are the days. Gosh, uh, I, I miss that. I miss being a small a small child with the dreams of Target having, having a cool game on display. But alas, uh, let's not wax nostalgic for too long. I also really loved Mega Party Games, um, which was the GameCube iteration. Now, this one was far more multiplayer focused and had kind of a, a unique flair, but I love the art style. Um, I love the characters, and there were just some weird, kooky ways that they incorporated mini game collection uh, and multiplayer that reminds me of Jackbox in a, in a, in a weird way. And, and some people may kind of get what I'm saying if you've played a lot of Mega Party games, but to me it felt like a precursor to sort of the Jackbox style of things uh, with a Nintendo flair. I also really like Twisted on Game Boy Advance. Um, Touch was cool, and Smooth Moves were cool. I did not get into Snapped or especially DIY. I had no desire to make them myself. Um, Sales-wise, though, some of them were misses, but a couple of them were big hits, Gabe. Why don't you run through those numbers? The top-selling one was Smooth Moves. Now, you can probably attribute that to the Wii success and the fact that right. there was just so many out there. 2.89 million, so close to three. Very good for a, you know, mini game collection um after that the next most successful one was the original one on gba um, mega micro games that sold 1.23 million and we do have some that sold you know fewer than a million the gamecube version mega party games is also notable because it sold 0 0.71 million the gamecube didn't sell a whole bunch of actual hardware so that kind of makes sense but you know twisted and touched Touch did, you know, 2.30 million, but Twisted only did 0 0.74. So it's generally successful, but yeah. maybe now that we haven't had one for quite some time, it can definitely make its way and do well on Switch. And I feel like it's very needed because once you Switch didn't necessarily, 
do it for a whole lot of people and we are missing a party multiplayer game like this and maybe go back to the gamecube one where you say that that one was way more multiplayer centered i feel like that would be perfect for switch absolutely and maybe they started to feel like it was tapped out you can only make you know 200 and 150 and 300 micro games uh, so many times before it just becomes rote but since it has been like we said, over a decade since a, a tried and true WarioWare release, maybe it's time. Now you can play some of these on 3DS um, Virtual Console. So you, if you want to go grab uh, the original WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro games right now, you can on your 3DS. Um, not, not on Switch, obviously, since there is no Virtual Console. Uh, but I do think we're primed for a new one. And as you mentioned, games of that genre, I guess, have fared very well on Nintendo platforms, whether it was Nintendo Land, whether it was Wii Party, uh, whether it was Wii Sports. There's a lot of really cool things that actually ended up being a lot of fun, even given their casual uh, and sort of, you know, family-centric focus. WarioWare took things in a very gamer-centric direction, which I think adds just so much more intrigue for me. Um, And given those sales, I think it could do phenomenally. Now, another highlight of the WarioWare franchise is that it always takes advantage of the system it's on. Um, Even in that flawed Wii U spiritual successor, they really focused on the gamepad and twisted, uh, you know, with the the movement uh, of the Game Boy Advance, touched with obviously the stylus and touchscreen on the DS. What do you think would be some ways that WarioWare could utilize the Switch uh, and kind of capitalize on what it does differently? You know, obviously, obviously HD Rumble is something that stands out, but one to switch already kind of implemented it in a, in a good way, I suppose. It just wasn't the game that was in a popularized, you know, the usage of it. But if WarioWare can do some really cool things with that, uh, that'd be great. Uh, same with just the individual Joy-Con use, right? Multiplayer, a local multiplayer on Switch, that's where it's at for, for a lot of people. And it's like a really good way to experience a console. So I feel like you have to implement that in some way. I don't know how you do like single Joy-Con use, but yeah, I, I, I'm i sure you could think of some like cool little innovative fun games with that. But I don't know, HD Rumble and the motion of the, the, the such precise motion that these Joy-Con have now, I think is where you take it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it very much seems like so many of the Switch's play modes and features could be taken advantage of. You could build out a really big WarioWare that had local multiplayer as an emphasis uh, with split Joy-Con play. You could build out a mode that was really uh, handheld friendly given the micro games. You could build out a mode that was really party centric uh, and could go docked. I could even see them doing, and I don't know if this goes against, you know, game development code for the Switch, uh, but what if they experimented in some weird way where there were games that involved taking it from docked to undocked, and I think you could do some, like, really, really cool things uh, given sort of the kooky nature of WarioWare, and it just has such an interesting stable of characters. Jimmy T, Mona, Dribble and Spitz, Ninevolt, Orbulon. I love what they have going on there, uh, and I love the art style. I think it would look brilliant on the Switch, um, and I very much would want them to return to what they they did initially, that, that granted this series so much flair and so much fun. The next question is, is it likely? Do we think this is probable? You know, we're still missing a Wii Sports type title. We're missing a Mario Party. Do those have to come first? Is WarioWare just a pipe dream? How do you feel, Gabe? I think that the Switch eventually gets a WarioWare game, but like you just touched on, I feel like there's a lot that needs to happen beforehand. I think we definitely get Mario Party first. Mm-hmm. I think we definitely get like a, a real Mario Kart first. I, I feel like WarioWare, while successful, is also like so niche that they probably put it towards like the end of the life cycle. But that's just my you know opinion. I, I could be completely wrong. But yeah. I, I just feel like there's a lot of things that Nintendo can obviously bank on before this. Yeah, and it's just... To me, it's not as niche as maybe it it looks because those sales, as you saw on Wii, were pretty darn strong. And the Wii had plenty of party games and plenty of opportunities for people to get that style uh, of of disc in their console, and yet they invested in WarioWare. As a character, he has pull, right? And as a a friendly face, I would love to have him back. Um, I also want to let it be known, you know, the DS is a mega seller, um, but Rhythm had them in which is a game that reminds me a lot of Wario, where they're different in, in plenty of ways, but they also share a lot in terms of their micro game status and, and their 
touch and, and all that. Uh, Rhythm Heaven on DS sold over 3 million copies. Now, on 3DS, it didn't even push a million, which is a bit of a bummer. But I think there is a market, especially internationally, uh, for these kinds of games. Um, and the fact that the Switch is so popular uh, across the globe leads me to believe that, hey, this could be pretty freaking good. Uh, and we touched on Mario Strikers. Maybe that sells. Maybe that doesn't sell. I feel like WarioWare would push some units. Um, I feel like it would. And I would love to see him come back. He deserves it. We always have talked about a Wario Waluigi combo game, but if we can't get that beautiful, brilliant RPG adventure, then give us WarioWare. I think it's time. Um, there is so much to draw from. Games as a whole have evolved since Touched and Smooth Moves, so you got plenty to, to pull from Nintendo. You got plenty of cool things to do with the Switch in terms of the HD Rumble, the Split Joy-Con, all the different modes of play. I think this could be a... Uh, crossover title that really appeals to the young, to the old, to the hardcore, to the casual, to the Nintendo, faithful, and the new. To me, it seems like a no-brainer, and I would be just smitten beyond all smits if we got an announcement at E3. Let us know in the comments down below how you feel about WarioWare, if you got any fun stories uh, or any notes about your history with the franchise, and what you think they could do on Switch if you think this is one that needs to come. We definitely do here at Switch Force, and I will keep my fingers crossed. At the very least, Sort of like we said with Strikers, bring that virtual console and give us the option to download uh, some of these handheld classics on the Switch. Because if, if I can't get a new one, I at least want to play uh, some make, Mega Micro games and some Touched on my Switch console. In the meantime, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the Switch. And any announcements of WarioWare, Mario Strikers and more. We'll bring them to you. We got you covered. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash the switch force, and you can send us fan art of Gabe with Wario's mustache. For now, though, that's it. Me and Gabe. Switch force out.